These came out this morning about 11.30, and they've been very mad today because it's cool out. If former English teacher Linda Rosardi were to be graded on her knowledge of honeybees, she would receive more than just B+. Saddest thing right now is that East Tennessee lost 70% of our bees this last spring and winter and 65% the year before. Not necessarily only to disease, but pesticide kills, cooler temperatures. This president of the Knox County Beekeepers Association and executive vice president of the State Beekeepers Association is sharing her knowledge of honeybees with visitors at New Harvest Park. Any questions? She wants everybody to know honeybees are dying for various reasons, some of which are man-made. Pesticides can be really, really rough. And unfortunately, I know one of our Blunt County beekeepers two springs ago lost 200 hives to a pesticide kill. And considering that the cost of a honeybee hive right now is at least $500, that was a big loss. Beekeepers say dwindling honeybee numbers are threatening local farmers markets like the one here at New Harvest Park, since honeybees are pollinators essential to the growth of many of the fruits and vegetables we love to eat. Okay. Ricky Bailey is selling honey at the farmer's market and and has been a beekeeper for more than 15 years. It's very hard to stay in business if you're losing a third to a half of your inventory every year. He says one way people can help is by becoming beekeepers themselves. I'm not saying have uh, 15 hives in your backyard, but if you have one or two, every little bit helps.